Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Tim with KJ and Justin for the Real Sports Talk and MLB Baseball Blogs. Two big deals going on today with veteran sluggers. Manny Ramirez has signed a one-year $500,000 deal with the Oakland Athletics. He will have to serve a 50-game suspension. And Raul Banya signs a one-year $1.1 million deal with the Yankees, and he will likely serve as their DH for a majority of the season. We'll start with Manny Ramirez. Uh, KJ, what do you think about Manny Ramirez at this point? Because the last time Manny Ramirez played was last season, but he played for a week, so we're not going to go off that. But even when he played the season before, he was not. He, he did really did not do too much for the Dodgers or the White Sox. Yeah, I think Manny will do all right there. I mean, he he's obviously proven in the past that he is a base player. People may dislike him or like him. He he can, he still has a good bat. He's not going to be the same Manny Ramirez that we saw in Boston and stuff. And even the defenders moved away. But I think he's trying to make a comeback. Maybe he's trying to change his attitude and who he is really. And you know, he's he's an older guy, so he's not going to be the same same level he used to be. But he's still, he's still a good baseball player. He's still going to hit that well. He's still going to get you a good amount of home runs. He's going to try and die. But I mean, it's Manny Ramirez. You can't say he hasn't had success in the past because he has. Yeah, no, he has. And what, however he did that certainly is in question. Obviously, he's going to be tested frequently, so I would not expect too much. He's going to miss the first 50 games from or for the season. For some reason, MLB, because he retired at the end of last season, they basically rewarded him and said, we'll take off your 100-game suspension, which really, for a second-time offense, I'm not even sure why they're continued to be allowed back into the game. But you're supposed to be suspended a 100 games for the second time. Instead, the MLB says, you know what, you basically served your suspension by sitting out. So basically by being a baby last year and Manny Ramirez sitting out, and I used to be the biggest Manny Ramirez fan, so I'm not trying to come off as a uh, Manny Ramirez hater, but basically by sitting out last season, he was just rewarded for that, and now he only has to serve a 50-game suspension. Justin, what do you think? No, I'm a big Manny fan. A lot of people did not even know I'm a Manny fan. I am a Manny fan even when he did, it did not take steroids. And this guy's 39 years old. He's he's not going to give you a lot of homes as he did with Boston and with the LA Dodgers. I think this year when you look at Manny Ramirez, he's going to sit out 50 games. There, he just really doesn't have the power like like he had before. I have him hitting about 10 home runs to 15, 10 or 15 home runs this season. It seems more reasonable because we don't know what he has been doing during his little sit out last year, only playing a week into the season. I thought with bought with the Boston. The Tampa Bay Rays signing him, it could be a big, imp uh, somewhat of a minor improvement. He does give give you some home runs, but looking at this see, uh, right now, I don't think Manny is um, going to hit over 20 home runs this year. Yeah, I, I don't see Manny Ramirez hitting 20 home runs because he, the most games you're probably going to see him play, if he misses, there's 162 games in the season. If he misses 162, the most he could play at that is 112. And at that, Manny Ramirez isn't going to play a DH every single game because the first 50 games and then you get to June where the DH isn't used and Manny Ramirez is not going to be going out in the field anymore. And at that, after that, you're not going to see Manny Ramirez playing DH every day. It'll be five or six days out of the week, but not every day. I would expect about 10 or 12 home runs. I think Justin's right on the spot there. We go over to Raul Abanez now. Coming off a season with the Phillies where he had 245 with 20 home runs and 80 RBIs. The season before that, he had 275 with 16 home runs and 80 RBIs. And in his first season there, he had 272 with 34 home runs and 93 RBIs. And pretty much a quarter of those home runs, or a third of those home runs, all came in the first month. Raul Abanez, I I'm going to be honest with you, this guy hits really bad pitching a lot of the time. And that's what makes his stats look good. But when you hit 20 home runs, I'll give the guy some credit. And moving into Yankee Stadium should help him because of the short porch in right field. I don't know how much he has left, and I would not expect him to be a huge piece in the playoffs because he's proven over the last few seasons that he's not, at, the, at this point in his career, he cannot catch up to that type of pitching in the playoffs, especially the lefty specialist types that just come in to face the lefty batters. But I think that at for the moment, 
he's a decent piece for the Yankees. Justin, what do you think? No, I like watching the Yankees. They're one of my, they're two of my favorite baseball teams. I don't, I'm not really too hot on the signing of Raul Ibanez, but every negative is somewhat of a positive. Um, he can, he's gonna be playing DH or possibly, he's, most likely, he's gonna be the bench role. If the Yankees have like Brad Gardner or somebody on second or third, and, and he, and there's somebody like the Yankees they want to put in because there's not really the power type of hitter that's at the plate right now for that certain situation. I think Raul Ibanez can be that guy to come up to the plate. He can hit you 20 home runs even even at the age of 39 right now, almost hitting 40. It's a big, it, it's either or, so there's nothing really I can really comment yeah, and on. The, the thing about him is he gets really hot at certain times, and usually with the Phillies is when he played against the Washington Nationals or the Pittsburgh Pirates, I'll be honest there, but he gets really hot at certain times, and when he gets hot, he's one of the most dangerous hitters, and he can really hit the ball out of the park. And Sissons Bank Park is small in right field, but the sh right field porch in Yankee Stadium is even smaller. So Raul Abanez should have success with the Yankees. KJ, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I agree to an extent. I don't think that Raul Abanez is going to hit, hit that many home runs this year. I think he's up in his age. He's past, obviously, his prime. He's just going to be a DH, and he's he's going to be a situation role guy, like you said, uh, Justin. Uh, but I don't think he's going to bring a lot to the table. But I think the Yankees getting him and acquiring was a good a good idea for him. They needed another guy that they could uh, have on the bench and sit, situate with, because you know, like you said, if you have somebody on second, you don't have a power guy up, or there's two outs, and you need to get that guy in. Maybe you could throw in Raul. I mean. I don't think he's going to be a big impact guy, but he's going to make a small impact that hopefully win a game or two here or there that help him out in a game. Give some guys some rest if he if he does play out in the field, maybe a couple games. But that's really it. He's not going to do much at all. Yeah, I would expect that at the deadline, unless Raul Abanez is tearing it up, the Yankees will probably at least get another guy that could potentially play DH. I would not. Put, That's where Eric Chavez really comes in. Yeah, Eric Chavez is he? He's still a free agent though, isn't he? They resigned him along with um, Raul Abanez, okay, so, so I think there, it's, it's two pretty decent. I mean, Eric Chavez, his days are coming to an end, and I really think this could be his last year. Yeah, they have him as an option, and then they could bring back Andrew Jones if Ra if one of those two options doesn't work out. They could designate them for assignment and bring back Andrew Jones. So that's our thoughts on that. The Pittsburgh Pirates 30 Clubs in 30 Days is coming up later on tonight. That video will be out. It's about 30-some minutes. I don't even know. Check that out. I believe all three of us are in that video, so it's a really nice video. Check that out. We'll see you guys later.